started. Welcome back to the Nikki Clark Show, and on the very special show today is uh, an incredible man, of the Man of Steel, <laughs> a real estate agent <laughs> with the Zolo Realty. Would you please welcome Mark Steele to the radio show? Hey, how are you doing, Mark? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing very well. How are you? I'm oh, amazing, amazing. You know, it's um, I, I love this time time of year. Uh, my birthday's around the corner. Christmas is around the corner, and yep. I, I don't know. I just feel really sentimental. I'm really into the holiday spirit. How about you? <laughs> I'm good. Do you have any big plans for your for your birthday for the holidays? I'm going to be in Montreal. I'm leaving tomorrow, so I'm really excited. I'm going to my hometown oh, nice. uh, to do okay. uh, a whole bunch of great things. And how about you? What are you going to do for the holidays? I have nothing special planned. It's been a busy year so far with real estate, so I might just take it easy, relax with the family a little bit, and um, okay. gear up for next year. Awesome, awesome. And I know that you've been busy throughout the year. So tell me a little bit about yeah. your background and, and when you started in real estate and why. Absolutely. So I started in real estate about three years ago. And the main reason I started was because nothing else seemed to work for me. I graduated from the University of Toronto in the Digital Enterprise Management Program, which is technology and business and management, that kind of thing. And my plan was always to get into a marketing job. I saw a movie called What Women Want with Mel Gibson years ago. I don't know if you remember that movie. But he was, a, he was in a marketing firm and, you know, there's a long desk and there's meetings about ad campaigns and all that kind of creative stuff. And I thought that's what I wanted to do. I graduated from the University right. of Toronto, went to my first marketing job, and it was nothing like the movies at all. And the meetings were frequent, and they mm -hmm. were very frustrating because you always have meetings about work. But when you're trying to do the work, you have more meetings, so you can't get the work done on time. You know what I mean? And so I thought, maybe it's just this job. I'll find another one. So I went from that job to another one. Same thing. Meetings, work being piled up, having to take work home with me. And that's when I realized that working in an office – just wasn't for me. I'd be at my desk falling asleep every day because I was staying up late the night before trying to get work done, and it just wasn't working. So I started doing personal training to get more active, to get outside and be with clients and really change lives with, in terms of health. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that was fun, and that got me out of the office for a little while, but it wasn't reaching my financial goals, so I had to think of something else to do. Right. So that's when my dad suggested doing real estate because everybody has to live somewhere and there's always going to be a market for an agent. Um, got it. So I dove right in, started doing real estate with three years ago, and it got me out of the office jobs permanently, and I'm a lot more happy now. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and it's all about really um, following your passion when it comes to, you know, creating a livelihood. You really need to be excited about it. Exactly. Right? If you're not happy doing what you're doing, then you're not going to do it for very long. So it has to be about more than just the money. It has to be something you can do all hours of the day with no one having to ask you to do it. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, um, tell me now, like if people are interested in buying real estate, um, yeah. how do you guide them in, in the process? Someone who maybe has never owned a home before or right. uh, maybe someone who's seasoned, I know the approach is different. But let's take a look at someone who's never owned a home before. What are some of the things Perfect. that you prepare them yeah, I work with first-time home buyers very often, actually. And the first part of starting the home buying process is the same for everybody. You have to determine what your needs are. And so that can be, you know, you're looking for a two-bedroom home, you're looking for a condo. Um, the way the prices are now, condos are selling well because the prices are a little bit lower, especially for the first-time buyers. Mm -hmm. um, you have to determine, you know, where you work and how close you need to be to work in order to, again, live happily, not have to commute two or three hours to get to your office. Mm -hmm. um, and those are the most important things. Where do you want to be and what do you need in the home? And then, of course, the budget. What can you afford to buy? So my right. clients will give me their criteria for those, and then I'll go into the MLS. I'll do a search and try to find a big selection of homes for them. Right. So with that selection, they'll look through the list. They'll say, I like this home because of this criteria or this location. I like that home for the same reasons. And they'll make a list, right. a shortened list of homes they want to actually see in person. Okay. So with that list, we'll go out maybe on a Saturday or Sunday, whenever they're available, and we'll see as many homes as possible that they like. From okay. there, ideally, they'll see one that they're comfortable moving forward with, and we'll submit an offer right there. Fantastic. And then, Fantastic. of course, hopefully after negotiations and I do my job well, uh, the house is theirs and they move in. 
Okay. Okay. And how long usually does the process take? That varies. It depends on how picky some people can be. I was working with a client last year. It took four months for them to actually settle on a home they want, um, that they want to purchase. So they had very specific needs. They needed a home that they could rent out the basement for some rental income, as well as mm-hmm. enough space at the top for um, themselves. It was a husband and a wife and future children coming along. So we went from okay. Mississauga to Brampton, Toronto, St. Catharines, and eventually settled in a place in Barrie. And that was a four-month okay. process. Whereas a few weeks ago, I had a client, first-time home buyer, who wanted to buy a home in Hamilton, and that literally took a weekend. Saturday, we saw homes. Sunday, we put the offer in, and by the Tuesday after that, the home was theirs. Uh, the deal was firm. Mm-hmm. So it can be four months. It can be four days. You never know. Okay. Okay. Wow. Fantastic. And and how about someone who is interested in um, working on flipping, you know, buying property, not necessarily moving in, but fixing it up and then selling it? Right. What would you suggest so, there? Yeah, for that process, you have to determine your goals. Um, how much money do you have to put down? Of course, the more money you have to put down, the lower the mortgage is going to be. And okay. you know, if you want to hold the home, for example, and just rent it out, a lower mortgage means you're going to be making more profit every month from the rent of the tenant. Whereas if you want to flip it, yes, you can likely find a house that's not so expensive and do all the renovations yourself. So it always comes back to the budget. How much do you want to spend on fixing it up? Are you going to hire people to fix it for you or are you going to do it yourself and just mm-hmm. more time equity into it rather than money? Right. Um, so it always comes back to the money. What are you looking for? And, of course, location. Um, Mississauga is very popular. This mm-hmm. year, um, most of GTA is. So if you want to flip a place in Mississauga, it may be a bit okay. tougher because it's going to be hard to find somewhere under $400,000. Okay. So if you have the money for it, then it can work. Anything is possible. With enough okay. Money. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, wh- what are some of the myths about real estate that you'd like to dispel? Maybe one or two, you know, that people just... Okay. Just, just a, a misperception of real estate that you'd like to just kind of clear up right now? One of the first ones that I that come to mind often is real estate agents are in it for themselves and not the best interest of their clients. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of bad realtors out there, but there are some good ones as well. And I guess along with that myth is assuming that someone who's been in the real estate industry for a longer period of time is better than mm-hmm. someone who's just getting started. It all comes right. down to customer service at the end of the day. And I've spoken with agents who've been in the business for 20 years and were just some of the most uh, the most rude people I've worked with, for lack of better words. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, I had a client that was looking for a condo in Mississauga. Again, Mississauga, because I worked down here a lot. And so we called the agent and asked, is it possible to get an extra parking spot in the building because they need two parking? So the mm-hmm. agent literally said, I don't know. Call the building and find out for yourself, and let me know if you want to get the deal done. Those are his exact words, and he's been in the business for 20 years, according to his website. Whereas okay. someone like myself, I always answer the phone, hello, Mark Steele speaking, always have a pleasant uh, demeanor when I'm talking to my clients. I'm willing to help with anything they need. I make the calls, and I get the answers for them. That's just what I think my job's supposed to be. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You can't teach people customer service all the time. Sometimes it just comes from the soul. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So one of the myths, that's yeah. the first myth. The second one is the home buying or selling process is complicated. It really doesn't have to be. Um, at the start of the call, for example, I explained the buying process in maybe five steps. Give me your criteria, see the homes, put the offer in, um, get it accepted. You know what I mean? Well, that's four steps, but in this conditions. But it can be really as simple as those five steps. Okay. So it doesn't have to be difficult at all. Okay. Okay. Well, that seems um, you know pretty easy to do. Um, what I want, what I wanted to ask you, um, and and this yes. ties in with the you know the whole premise of the show is about transforming lives one story at a time, and we we are blessed each of us all with a story. What is it that you think you've done at this point to transform others? And then the other question is, what trans what transforms you, or what has transformed you? 
Transforming others. I've always prided myself on being an example for my friends, my family, um, the younger kids that went to my church. And I know one of the best examples that I set for them was you know, being frustrated in my office jobs and doing something about it. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of people that will say, I don't like work. I hate going to the office. My boss is this. My boss is that. But they continue going to work every single day and just get more and more frustrated, more and more tired. Whereas for myself, I saw that frustration and I changed it. I got into real estate. I changed my circumstances because no one else can do it except for yourself. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so in doing that, I let people realize that you can take your life into your own hands. You don't have to go to work every day if you don't want to. Mm-hmm. You have to have a plan. Know what you want to do and just do it. That's the biggest thing. There's a the speech by Art Williams, the Just Do It speech. And that's probably transformed me the most because he really breaks it down into very simple terms. If you want to do something, just do it. If you want to achieve your goals, just do it. Okay. Um, you, may, okay. you may not have gas in your car, but find a way and just do it. You know what I mean? There's always a way to do mm-hmm. something. Just do it. It's that simple. Very good. Very good. And and how, how have you been transformed? Um, I've been transformed just like that, watching a lot of motivational videos, Art Williams, uh, Les Brown. I really take those videos and I I meditate on them. I try to ingrain them into my own life. And not only that, but seeing, uh, I guess, role models like some of the realtors you see on TV, for example, on Billion Dollar Listing and different home improvement shows. I try to take as many examples as possible from people that are where I want to be mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. incorporate their traits and their characteristics into my own life. Awesome. Um, awesome. I've always learned that success leaves clues. So if someone's successful, do what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, you know, I want to just um, take this moment to really thank you for taking some time to share um, information about the real estate business and, and how you go about doing it. Um, and, and you really do have um, integrity and, and passion behind your business. And I know that um, that transfers very well. People can pick that up when they meet you. Um, so how can people contact you then, um, either through your website or phone number? What, what contact information do you have for us? Of course. The best way is always to reach me by phone. Either a call or a text is fine. My number is 416-434-9029. It's on the Internet, okay. and my website is marksteelhomes.com. All my social media is Mark Steel Homes. So it's Instagram, Fantastic. Twitter, Facebook, everything. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful. Mark, again, thank you very much for um, having you know time to talk, chat with us. And I want to wish you and yours a very, very Merry Christmas and uh, a prosperous New Year. And looking forward to following you um, in 2016 and, and just see just Absolutely. the amazing progress that you're uh, that you're um, that you're that you're doing. So thanks a lot again. Thank you very much, Nikki. I appreciate your time. No problem. Have a good day. Bye bye.